trillions will flow through cryptos like Stellar XLM and Zion coins will benefit. But what are the fundamental factors? What is the underlining factors that will get us there? Well, I believe that decentralization is the key. And I think not only do we need decentralization, we need the tools to be able to build. We need people providing solutions. We need utility providers to help us get there. But before I move forward, please like and subscribe. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and I can keep delivering content like this to you more frequently. Now, with that aside, let's talk about the tools and let's talk about the Stellar Community Fund Round 11 and who's building. Well, one that jumped out to me when I was pitching was Horizon as a service because actually I think it's required for developers to move forward. There's only one that I know of that provides this server API server setup and that's block daemon but Horizon as a service to me seems like a relatively good idea. I think the more of these service providers we have, the easier it will be to be to build on Stellar. So without further ado, what is Horizon as a service, Nathan? Over to you. Okay guys, thanks for that Nathan. So Horizon as a service. Now I'm jumping to this entry because I think it is quite necessary and if you're building on Stellar and you're building like a web wallet and you get a lot of activity I believe that it's within your interest to understand that you're going to need to set up your own API and at the moment there is one service that provides that um, and that's uh, Block Daemon Block Daemon and in my experience they're notoriously hard to to sort of communicate with at the moment I mean others may have found it easier but from my personal experience it's not been that easy so actually horizon as a service jumps out to me now let's have a look at what they offer give teams building on stellar custom and private horizon server access to the stellar network with only the data they need and that sounds quite cool uh, there's only one team member um, I did um, see the pitch so well done on that pitch. Um, I just want to say, so really, when you start hitting rate limits with Stellar, this is where you're going to need to set up your own horizon, okay? You'll know, you just need to check your stats on Amazon or whatever your, you know, AWS, whatever um, hosting service provider that you're using, and you'll see if you're hitting these limits. Um, because you don't really want transactions to stall or stop. You want them to continue, otherwise it's going to be bad for your wallet. So really having your own Horizon instance is the way forward. Let's um, read on. Um, products and services. What is products and services? Managed Horizon instance. What problem does it solve? The need to access to Stellar Network tailored to the business use case of the team. How does this solve that problem? We configure and customize the Horizon instance for what you need to know for your business case and deploy it to cloud or on Prem infrastructure. So Prem being premium infrastructure solutions. Who is the audience? Teams need access to Stellar beyond the limits of the free Horizon instance and they just don't have the time or expertise to deploy their own infrastructure so as I was saying you know it takes time listen I looked into um, setting up our own servers you know having our own hardware server um, actually and to be honest with you it is time consuming and you need to play around with the ingestion and there is a lot of ingestion to to take in you know it could take days to ingest the whole ledger um, and you need to ingest the whole ledger um, for Horizon because actually Horizon has its own core. And um, once you've done that, then you're then you know you could scale down. But this is something that this this um, this product can provide. So 
I think is worthwhile. What are the benefits, speed and support? Getting Horizon Instance up and running quickly for teams, building on Stellar Network support for those Horizon Instances so teams don't have to worry about them. How does it work and how does it use Stellar? Horizon is the gateway to Stellar Network and this solution is geared toward deploying those Horizon Instances goals. Achieve problem solution fit, sign up 10 teams or secure 1,000 qualified leads. To get there, we will use requested budget, $2,500, to conduct customer interviews, to uncover problems, design and demo a solution, secure commitments from early adopters, determine what is needed in an M. VAP and build a solution that delivers the most value to the early adopters. Sounds great. So it's a Mr. Trillman Morsley. Mr. Trillman, thank you for that. I am going to be interested. And there is his link too. And that is Horizon as a server. And yep, I'll certainly be looking into that. So Nathan, back over to you. Thanks for that, Nathan. And there you go. Horizon as a service. This is probably one of the fundamental blocks one of the fundamental bricks in the wall that we need to to build and move forward providing utility for developers so that they don't have to get involved in the nuts and bolts of um, providing an, an api serv server and therefore just actually front-end development is a lot easier so Trillions will flow through cryptos like Stellar XLM and Zion Coins will benefit with utility by software service providers. I'm Nathan, aka Nathan of Zion. Smash the Zion coin up there, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. It's going to be on Stellar and it's going to be on what utility providers are there. What's being built on Stellar? Have a great day. Take care now.